Hello everyone, Mark with High Tech Legion. In this video we're going to be taking a look at the Aorus Thunder K7 mechanical keyboard plus the macro keypad. Yes, the keypad is removable to be mounted on the left side or the right side of the keyboard. First ever keyboard to have that uh, removable macro keypad. We're going to take a look at that. It is the macro Cherry or the Cherry MX mechanical switches. We're going to go through an overview of the keyboard itself, show you some of the backlighting, some of the features, and uh, some of the performance testing and how this keyboard works out. Will it be the next keyboard that you'll want to purchase? Stay tuned to find out. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at some of the features of our Aorus Thunder K7 mechanical keyboard plus macro keypad. Very nice design on the box, and the box is huge um, for a keyboard. You can see right on the top here we have just a, a few of the features of the keyboard in multiple languages. Um, our world's first detachable macro keys, superior Cherry MX mechanical key switch, absolute anti-ghosting capability, and the built-in Oros macro engine. If any of you have watched our review on the Oros Thunder mouse, the MMO gaming mouse that we did, we did show you the Oros macro engine. Uh, very intuitive, very easy to program, very easy to work with, and they brought that back here with their K7 keyboard. So. Let's take a look at some of the features on the box here. Right there we can see our absolute anti-ghosting multi-key press capability. Utilizing the anti-ghosting matrix key switch design, the Thunder K7 provides anti-ghosting across all zones for the keyboard. The Oros macro engine that we just touched on, except the standard number mode, the 20% keyboard supports another five gaming profiles. With 20 keys, you can program up to 100 sets of macros on the go. We have our 18 karat gold plated USB connector. Our cable is 2 meters long and it is a cotton braided cord. We'll see that in a minute. We have our non slip wear resistant UV coated keycaps. Here is the macro pad, the standalone keyboard. And then for gaming, a lot of us use our mouse in our right hand so we can use the macro keypad and move it over to the left side of the keyboard and do all of our gaming specifically from that macro keypad. If you're a left-handed user you can keep that macro keypad on the right side of the keyboard here you would have your mouse in your left hand and again program this with all of your settings for your favorite game. So you can arrange that keyboard however you want to and again let's touch on this the world's first mechanical gaming keyboard with the detachable macro keys. We have dynamic volume and backlight illumination control via our knobs at the top here for our macro keypad for our keyboard and our volume control. So that's on the fly we can adjust the illumination. Let's go ahead and open up the box and take a look at the keyboard itself. Now before we actually take the keyboard out of the box here um, I'm going to show you something that impressed me with Aorus with their Thunder MMO gaming mouse. Uh, they've done the same here. We can see the nice Aorus logo on the box. This is the inner box once we've taken it out of our outer box here. They've done a really good presentation with this and this is why I'm touching on this. And it's really, you know, when you open up a product, you're excited about it, you've, you've purchased your new keyboard, you've purchased whatever it may be, you're excited to take it out of the box and look at it. When you open this up, the presentation is very impressive. They have your macro key, keypad here, your, your main keyboard here, your stand or your wrist rest for your keyboard here. It's inside this rigid plastic with the nice thick foam all around it, the nice Thunder K7. Uh, it's kind of like a holographic uh, chrome logo up at the top, which removes. You can kind of see there. Um, but they've gone above and beyond with their packaging and I think it's you know a really nice thing for these manufacturers to do because it shows you you see this nice clear rigid plastic that keeps everything inside that styrofoam 
it shows you that they've taken that extra step to really go above and beyond with their product. We have our braided USB cable. Again, just slid inside this little box here, portioned out. Now, another nice thing about this, of course, it's all inside plastic, so it'll stay protected. Very nice keys. We can hear that uh, switch is very quiet. So those of you that have, you know, maybe have stayed away from mechanical keyboards because the switches seem to be loud personally, um, I don't mind the key click and the mechanical keyboard. A nice feature of them is that you barely have to depress the keys. So it does strain on, uh, it does reduce strain on your hand as well. But these Cherry MX switches, if you're just engaging the switch, there's almost no noise. If you bottom out the key, just a little bit of noise there. We can see our connector on the side here. So regardless of where you're going to have this connected, on the left or on the right, we have our main portion of our keyboard. Again with the Cherry MX switches. And this will connect. And it's magnetic. So it holds in place. Of course I have it up in the air. If it was on your desk, it just magnetically connects. You see our connection on the side here on the right side and on the left side. So no matter what side of the keyboard you have it plugged into, you have your connection for it. And again, it's just magnetic. So sitting on your desk, that's solid connected. Now, say you wanted to use this keyboard uh, for some other purpose. Maybe say, uh, you know, one thing that comes to mind is if you had this up front, um, maybe in a retail location, and you were using this as a key register and you wanted to have your keypad where people could type in a pin number or you know something to that extent the other thing Aorus has included is this little cable but you can see your connection on it there and then your USB connection so you plug this cable into the USB port on your motherboard you take this and it plugs into the side magnetically you can see it's holding it on there and now you can put this keypad anywhere. So if you want to have, you know, maybe say you're gaming and you don't want to have your whole keyboard in front of you and you've programmed all your macro keys through the Oros macro engine onto your keypad, well, you can move your keyboard out of the way. You can have, you know, a more clean gaming surface. You could just be using your mouse and this keypad plugged in. No need for the whole keyboard to be in your way. Give yourself a little bit more room. Or as I said, it just nicely, it does the same thing and attaches to the side of the keyboard. So, that's another nice feature that uh, Oros has provided us with this keyboard. And then here we see our wrist rest. That again, there's just a nice curve on the front of the keyboard and just like magic. So everything is magnetically attached on and if you d move it so it's not lined up, it won't stay. You almost get the reverse magnetism. But when it's right in place, it lines up nicely, holds itself in place. So when, every, when everything is together, of course, if it was sitting on your desk, it's all magnetized, all locks together. And you have a very nice keyboard. If you're going to rearrange how your setting is, it's very easy. Slide that over, bring this over to this side, and you're set to go with your standard keyboard layout. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, grab my laptop, plug this in so you guys can see this lit up uh, with our backlighting and uh, some of the, the key functions. Stay tuned. Just to give you guys an idea of what it looks like all lit up in a pretty dark room with minimal lighting. You can see that the, key, the keys light up a very nice color on our, our scroll wheel here. We can scroll down, scroll up the brightness. It is independently adjustable on the macro pad and the main keyboard. We cannot shut it completely off. It just comes down to our dimmest setting, which is fairly dim. Uh, would be good for gaming. You know, there wouldn't be any kind of real glare or anything distracting from you if you were in a dark room. And then we can see our Aorus logo over here. That is our switch 
for our different profiles. So we can change that color through the Oros Macro Engine. So you can see the colors now are just kind of pre-programmed. There are five profiles that we can set and that will change the color on that over there. So let's go ahead and get a little bit of light here. We have uh, one last thing here, our user's guide. Just goes through installation, instructions. Um, it is height adjustable. There are rubber feet underneath to keep it in place. Um, we can see here, so when you're using the K7 in standard mode like this, you wouldn't want to have the cable plugged over here and connected in as that could cause instability. So when the keypad is connected to the keyboard here, we would just want to let it connect to the keyboard itself. And we can see just how easily, if we lift this up, magnetize, we want to switch it over to the other side, slide that in place, connect over here. So we can bring it to this side and then you will get a recognition recognition uh, that you know it's plugged in, that it's being recognized, it will light up as soon as it's ready to use. And again, as we said, if we take it off here and we plug our little cable in, which is, like I said again, just magnetic, we plug our other USB port into our computer, our cable's in there. As soon as it recognizes, that lights up. So you could use this completely independently of the keyboard. On the left side of the key keyboard, disconnect that. Again, magnetic, right back in place. Magnetic, right back in, back in place, right on the other side of the keyboard. Very versatile. The switches are very nice. Very nice palm rest on the bottom also. So even with the elevation, we can see that it's very easy to, it's a nice slant so you're not going to be straining your wrist or straining your hands to use the keyboard. It's very nice and easy to use. So now that we've taken a look at how the keyboard functions, the backlighting, the capability to move our keypad from one side to the other or also use it independently. Stay tuned for our conclusion. So thanks for watching our video review of the Oros Thunder K7 Mechanical Keyboard plus the Detachable Macro Keypad. Hope you enjoyed the video portion of our review. Um, this keyboard was exceptionally nice. The Cherry MX switches made it exceptionally easy to use. The uh, Macro Engine software allowed us to fine tune pretty much anything that we wanted. The Detachable Keypad was very nice. I actually did a gaming session. Uh, where I just used the keypad, I was able to move this, the rest of the keyboard out of the way and I had a very nice surface with just my mouse and my keypad that did pretty much everything that I needed to do within game. That was a very nice feature. The backlighting was nice. I was able to turn off all the lights in my room while I was gaming and if I had to look down to you know glance at a key or lose position of my hand, it was very easy to pick right back up where I left off. Because of all the functionality, the customization, this keyboard will really work for a right-handed user or a left-handed user. Uh, specifically in-game, if you want to be gaming and just use the macro keypad, you can just use that. Uh, because of all of that, the backlighting, the Cherry MX switches, how easy this keyboard was to use, Aorus has really gone above and beyond with this one, and because of that, it's going to receive the Editor's Choice Award from High Tech Legion. Thank you for watching the video review portion of this review. Make sure you go to the HighTechLegion.com website for the full review. And also click subscribe right down here to see our future video reviews. You can also find us on Twitter and follow us at twitter.com forward slash high tech legion. And head on over to Facebook at facebook.com forward slash htl reviews. Thanks for watching.